For today's quiz, I've got this bucket. It's partially filled with water. If I were to whirl this around in a circle, the question is simply, what happens to the level of water? Right now, it's just sitting horizontally straight across. But when I'm spinning it in a circle, what happens? Here's what your quiz looks like. I'll hold that up for the camera right now. As always, mark your answer as completely as possible and list your level of confidence. Typical student response is run the entire gamut. I have six that are listed on this uh, quiz. Some will say it sloshes to one side. Others will say it goes on a diagonal. Others say, no, it's going to stay parallel to the bottom of the bucket. Others will say, no, it goes vertical up and down, concave, convex. We get all of these answers in about equal distribution. All right, let's show you this. If I were to take this bucket, fling it around in a circle, you can't see what's happening. So let me make another apparatus. All right, I've built an apparatus. And you can see I have string hanging down from the bottom, and I've got a plane here. I can take a cup of water, which will simulate our bucket, and put it right there. It's not sitting flat. I'm going to have to relieve this off the clip. But let me show you how I ended up getting my two degrees of freedom so this could go around in a circle. I have an, um, an S hook, and I've got a U joint. And this will allow this plane of action, and the U uh, bolt will allow it to slide back and forth. So it's going to be able to go in all directions with very little friction. OK, I'm going to take this off for a second. This clip was a good idea, but it's not distributing that load evenly. I think uh, it'll be pretty much the same thing here. Now I'm going to put this on here. Hopefully you can see that right now that water is sitting flat with that plane. Uh, hopefully this isn't going to backfire, but I'll try to get this going in a circle. And hopefully you can see what this is going to look like. All right, let's try this out. And I'll get out of the way. I think you can see that it stays parallel with that plane. All right, let me try and get this out. There we go. All right. Pretty cool. So the answer was C. It stays parallel with the plane. Just like the bucket of water has the water level parallel to the bottom of the bucket. And this really shouldn't be a surprise. We can hopefully give a little explanation here. We've done this with a stopper before. And if a stopper is going around, I guess I should go this way, going around in a circle, you'll see that the stopper is essentially doing the same thing. As it's going around, it stays pretty much uh, perpendicular to the string or parallel to the bottom, just like we had before. Think of each one of these water molecules being in here side by side and essentially having that same force centripetal as it goes around, acting on each one in the same manner. So not too much different than a stopper going around on a string. There's more to this apparatus, and we can go a little bit further. But I think that's enough for now. All right, that's your quiz for today. If you like what we're doing here at the Idealized Science Institute, be sure to comment below, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons. If you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.